I have been collecting Lincolnshire chairs for a number of years now <clears throat> and I've often been asked how I know how to identify a Lincolnshire rush seated chair and the place I always recommend people to start is with Bill Cotton's book The English Regional Chair. There's a chapter on there on Lincolnshire chairs quite a lot with the Windsor chair making tradition in Grantham and, and in Sleaford and also a piece about the Caister chair making tradition but also there's several pages relating to Lincolnshire rush seated ladder back chairs. Now this chair here is recognised to be a Lincolnshire ladder back chair and I wanted to point out to you the features that I look for all the time when I'm trying to find these chairs. Now these chairs are not easy to come by. They were made in large numbers back in the 17 and 1800s and uh, a lot of them, most of them have been destroyed. But it is possible to find them, but they are quite rare. <clears throat> Usually they are made out of ash. And this one's made out of ash and just stained lightly to make it a bit darker. One thing I always look for is the back leg. It's a turned back leg, turned from top to bottom all the way through and it's perfectly straight, there's no bending there. Just at the bottom, it's just taken off a fraction just to make it a little bit smaller. And on the top of the leg, there's always a little mushroom. That is another giveaway for Lincolnshire chairs. At the back, this one's got five ladders. <coughs> the ladder always has a little bulb on the top and underneath here, there is a little cut out seagull. And these ladders are, they're not cut out, they're ribbon. I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a lot of um, uh, marks in there to prove that it was cut with a riving knife and shaped up afterwards. Another thing to look for is this distinctive leg. This is recognised to be the essential feature of a Lincolnshire chair. It's got a cabriole uh, cutaway leg at the bottom here with a turning on top and it's all one piece of wood that is let into the top rushing bar and this is the top rushing bar here it goes from one side all the way across to the other the front stretcher is always quite distinctive as well there's a bulb in the middle and there's some little quirks towards the outside and usually with these Lincolnshire chairs you will find at the back that there are two stretchers so that is a Lincolnshire ladder back chair now, how do you tell that from a Lancashire chair? Well, it just so happens that I have got here a Lancashire chair. This is a good chair. And the first thing you notice when you pick it up, it is a lot heavier than the Lincolnshire chairs. And there's quite a few different features when you look at it. <clears throat> the first thing to point out is its back leg. The back leg is square down the bottom here and turned at the top. The original blank would have been square, you can see it there. It's had the corners taken off there and the top has been turned. Quite often this top turning is canted back at a few degrees just to make it more comfortable. The ladders at the back are really quite distinctive. They look like a sea wave and these are often called wavy back Lancashire chairs. You'll see these all the time at auctions and on the internet I've seen hundreds if not thousands of these that but ever so often in amongst them will be one or two Lincolnshire chairs. Now the other difference as well, that front stretcher, there's a double pair there or opposed balusters and so it's got a turning in the middle that does not appear on Lincolnshire chairs. And the front legs as well, they're quite different. The front leg is all one piece, goes all the way through and the front leg comes up to the top and the rushing bar here is let in at the side and the back stretcher there's only one so that is the difference between a Lincolnshire and a Lancashire ladder back chair now when I've been looking for Lincolnshire chairs this is the most common Lincolnshire turning pattern that you find all the features of a Lincolnshire chair it's got the ladders at the back it's got straight turned back leg with a little mushroom on top there's a front stretcher with a bowl in the middle, with a bulb in the middle. But this front leg is quite different to the other one we saw, which was a cabriole leg, but this is the most common one. It's an off-centered turning with a pad foot at the bottom. Uh, there's often a little, an inch more on the bottom, and that's disappeared with this chair. 
and there we are the two stretches at the back so there you are so now in future when you're at the sales or going around the antiques fairs you'll be able to recognize the difference between a Lincolnshire and a Lancashire ladderback chair if you want to see more images of these if you go to Google and get at the search engine, the search box, and put in Lincolnshire Chair Museum and click on the Flickr photo sharing website, there's a lot of pictures of different variations of this front leg from Lincolnshire chairs. Thank you.